Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is Min Chol Song and today I'm going to present a paper uh, intra unicorner Isolation with Intel Memory Protection Keys um, This is an overview of the paper um, Unicorner have gained attention in the, in the academia and research community with their benefits that come from a single address space. However, lack of isolation in memory space of unicorner instance is a security concern. Uh, in this paper, we suggest a new design of intra unicorner isolation, leveraging Intel memory protection keys without breaking single address space so that unicorner's benefits can be preserved. We implement that design into Rust, Rusty Hermit Unicorner, which is written in Rust. We also evaluate the prototype and demonstrate that we keep Unicorner performance benefits and low overhead in most cases. Uh, this is the uh, outline of today's presentation. We first move on to motivation and background. Now, what is Unicorner? Unicorner is a single application virtual machine. The application is compiled and statically linked with a minimal kernel library OS. All the uh, application and kernel code are running on the highest privilege level. And they shared a single and unprotected address space, which uh, leads to good performance. Unicorner have gained attention in the academic research community with benefits of improved performance, small attack service, and reduced cost. Particularly, Single address space is the unicorner's fundamental principle of, and it brings performance benefits. For example, system calls are replaced with regular function calls. However, in security perspective, there is a serious security concern because there is no separation in memory space. Uh, so, Subversion of user application can lead to subversion of corner or the entire unit corner. Uh, we are motivated by the fact that modern applications are made of components having variable degrees of trustworthiness, potential for vulnerabilities and manipulating data with various levels of sensitivity. So, a trusted computing base has to be established. First, due to the lack of isolation between kernel and user space, a vulnerability in application can leak or temper sensitive data such as crypto keys. For example, Web server's HTTP parsing code can be exploited by an attacker. In addition, function pointers in the global offset table can be overwritten by an image manipulation library. Second, due to the lack of isolation between trusted and untrusted kernel, attacker can exploit vulnerability in the Unit, uh, in the untrusted kernel code to access any kernel memory region. Uh, for example, per core variables get or set method, uh, they can access an arbitrary address in trusted kernel. We found this example in the kernel code of Rusty Hermit Unit Kernel. In this paper, we suggest intra unicorner isolation with Intel memory protection keys. Our memory isolation scheme provides memory space isolation without breaking one of the 
fundamental principle of Unicorners, which is single address space. We leverage your hardware features, Intel memory protection keys, because it allows per core page level permissions inside the single address space and domain switch operation is fast. We build our scheme on top of Rusty Hermit Unicorner, which is written in Rust. With MPK, an untrusted code can only access the limited memory region allowed. If, viol if violation occurs, MPK board terminates the Unicorner execution. Uh, before moving on, I'm going to provide background knowledge for the rest of paper. Intel MPK is a new hardware feature introduced in the recent Intel CPUs. It enforces per thread permission on memory pages within the address space, and switching permission is fast. Each group of pages set a protection key on their page table entries. Uh, PKRU is a new 32-bit register in a core. A value in the PKRU register defines permissions on each protection key. WRPKRU or RDPKRU instructions are introduced to read and write the uh, PKRU value. Um, Rust is a memory safe language without runtime overhead because its compiler uh, guarantees memory safety in the compiler time, compile time. Rust is now getting attention as a system software language with its benefits. However, Rust compiler cannot cover all the operating system code because writing operating system requires some memory unsafe code such as inline assembly, low pointer dereference. So, uh, Rust provides unsafe keyword and the compiler does not check the memory safety for the unsafe code block. Unsafe code such as inline assembly, low pointer dereference must be specified as unsafe with the, with the keyword. Um, Rust Hermit is a unique kernel written in Rust. It has safe and unsafe kernel code. Uh, its unsafe kernel code is 3.27% of the total uh, line of code, and its per core variables get set methods can be safety critical example because it can access it can access an arbitrary memory address. Interestingly, Rust T Hermit can run Rust C or C++ application, unlike other unicorners. While designing our isolation scheme, we made assumptions and threat model. We assumed that the user application code is an untrusted component, and the unsafe kernel code is an untrusted component. Uh, rest of the kernel code is a trusted component without vulnerability. Uh, we also uh, assume that hardware is trusted, so there is no side channels. Uh, our threat model is that attacker exploits vulnerabilities in the, in the untrusted components to leak or temper sensitive data. Uh, now uh, we are move on, moving on to design and implementation of our isolation scheme. Uh, we protect safe kernel memory from the unsafe kernel code. We also protect the entire kernel memory from the user code. The user application can only interact, interact with the kernel through system calls. Other than the system calls, MPK forward terminates the execution. In the real kernel code, some data is accessed by both safe and unsafe code. In our design, 
save kernel code can access unsafe memory. However, unsafe kernel code can access the safe memory. So if the unsafe kernel code needs to access the, the safe memory, the data is copied to the unsafe memory so that the unsafe code can access. Um, this is a detailed virtual address space layout of our isolation scheme. We opted to have separate data section, heap, and stack for each component. Each sections are protected by MPK with corresponding protection keys. Um, each component has each data section for static data, uh, stack for function core, and heap for the dynamic memory allocator. Our isolation scheme implementation relies on annotations. Uh, we, we use Rust macro to expand codes. As you can see on this example, we put annotations at the, at the start of the unsafe code and the end of unsafe code. For the static data access by the unsafe kernel code, we allocate them on the on the isolated data section using a uh, Rust macro. When declaring the global variable, we wrap the declar declaration with the Rust macro. And uh, this is the uh, um, definition of uh, Macro, uh, as you can see, it specifies a uh, section uh, for the global variable. For the unsafe function core, we need to switch stack. Uh, on the function core, we wrap it with uh, Rust macro, iso uh, isolate, isolate functions, and uh, uh, the example on the right side is uh, a pseudocode of a macro isolating the function. So uh, it's uh, for a switch stack and uh, change the change the protection key permission, and then it calls the uh, isolated function and it um, switch back the permission. Then it is stored stack. Uh, isolating user memory is simpler than isolating the unsafe kernel. As system core is a border of kernel and user, we isolate, it, we isolate system core as we do for the unsafe function core. Uh, now we are move on to evaluation. We evaluate our design in two perspectives. We did a security evaluation to answer whether the isolation works properly. We also did a performance evaluation to measure overhead of isolation, such as MPK domain switching, stack switching, and copying data. Uh, this is our uh, experimental setup. For the security evaluation, we uh, simulate attack scenarios. For the user isolation, we exploit, we exploit uh, buffer overflow, overflow in, the, uh, in the application and try to access the kernel memory. For the, for the unsafe kernel isolation, we, exploit, we exploited uh, vulnerable unsafe code to access the safe kernel memory. Uh, for both scenario, uh, MPK Ford terminated the unique kernel execution, and uh, the screenshot below uh, uh, is a uh, um, MPK Ford and uh, uh, printed information. 
um, we did micro benchmark to measure the isolation of bread. We picked an unsafe kernel function write bytes. It writes uh, bytes on a memory address. We measured our isolated function and compared it to vanilla function. Um, the x axis of the result graph is a uh, size of writing and the y axis on the left is um, slowdown of the isolate, isolated function compared to the vanilla version, vanilla function. And the y axis on the right is a, a, a function called latency. Uh, as you can see here, um, with the size of writing increases, the isolated unsafe kernel function has more slowdown compared to the vanilla kernel function because writing bytes dominates the overall overhead. Um, to measure user isolation overhead, we measured the system core overhead. Uh, we measured null system cores to measure the pure isolation overhead and the get PID to measure the real world overhead. Uh, the null system core is a system core that returns without doing anything. We measured the, the system cores in both Rust and C application with Rusty Hermit and Linux KVM. Um, y axis is a system core or function core latency, and uh, our isolated system cores are slower than the vanilla function cores because of isolation overhead, but still faster than Linux system cores. Uh, finally, we measured uh, microbenchmark. Uh, finally, we measured uh, macro benchmark. We chose several benchmark suits, and uh, um, we compare our isolated uh, version of Rusty Hermit and compare it to vanilla version Rusty Hermit with the uh, macro benchmarks. And uh, um, we can observe that our isolated uh, scheme, our isolation scheme introduces 0.6% uh, slowdown in average compared to the vanilla version. Uh, to conclude, uh, the lack of intra unicorner isolation is a secu uh, serious security concern. Our design provides intra unicorner isolation, and uh, by relying on the Intel MPK, single address space can be kept. And our design has 0.6% performance overhead on the rear applications. For more details, uh, please read the paper. Uh, it's on our product page and SSRG publications section. And code is also available online. Uh, you can visit visit SSRG GitHub repository to see the code. Thank you very much.